Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. Just want to say happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays. If you're not celebrating the holidays or somewhere else in the country or the world, um, then I hope you're having a great Thursday. So I just want to say thank you. And I appreciate you guys for all of the support on the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys stick around. You guys give me really great advice. I know I don't give or make the best videos, but I do try with uh, what I can and what I have in doing this by myself with little knowledge of uh, photography um, and stuff like that. So it does mean a lot and I do appreciate the ongoing support and you guys coming back for more and more videos. So we're gonna check out some snakes. I thought it was, I thought it would be fitting to feed Pop-Tart a bird on Thanksgiving. So we'll go ahead and do that here in a little bit, but I wanna show you guys uh, one of the snakes or a few snakes that have shed out and this girl is already out and exploring. But it's a female motley. It's a 100% head for albino, which means nothing because I don't have any breeder males. And I really like the motley gene. You know, I like them in a lot of different combos and just as they are naturally. So we don't want her to touch the hot vents on the oil cool or the oil heater. Um, I mean, I like I like the patterns. I think she has really great. Um, saddles, uh, great lines down her, down the sides of her body. We'll come around here. She's super curious. I think she's got a really nice pattern on her tails. It's always nice to get boas with a little bit of a unique or clean lines on on their tails. But I just think she looks, you know, phenomenal for being a molly. But I know some people don't like mollies. Some people don't even like boas. So we can, uh, you know. We can appreciate her as she is as a snake, because I think we're all snake people. So let's go ahead and feed Pop-Tart. She has not shed out yet. I was hoping she would have shed out today, but I think she's gonna shed out here in the next uh, couple of days. It always seems like it takes the longest, uh, the longest wait on the snakes that we actually want to see <laughs> shed out. Um, cause some of the other snakes, they go into shed and it's like, cool, can't wait to see her, but super excited, super hyped about her growing and shedding and we'll see how she does in 2022. But this girl right here is a very, very good eater. So we'll eat birds and rats, which is awesome. So once she's been on rats, she hasn't gone, you know, she hasn't been stuck on birds, which is really good. So we'll check out a couple more snakes that are, have shed out. I don't wanna keep you guys too long on the holiday. Hopefully you guys are enjoying time with friends and family. And if you guys are watching this and you don't have anybody to hang out with, uh, find me on Instagram, we, we can talk. Uh, I might go live on Instagram a little bit later. It's a fire enchi clown. She just shed out. A little little ball of a shed and she's looking really good so really pleased with her I did keep her for a while in these smaller tubs and then I kind of ran out of those but I'm noticing and I do have a hide over here I just kind of took it out for the video purposes but even with a small hide in here I've noticed the ball pythons in these bigger areas um after it seems like after they're established on eating very well weekly, um, I put a couple of the. Uh, she's probably about five months. I'd say five or six month old ball pythons in the seventy thirties, and I don't have any issues. They eat well. She sheds well. I mean, some of them shed, some of them don't shed very well. But it's nice to see that some of the ball pythons um, that are eating very very well in some of these bigger tubs. Um, so I do have her, she's 2021 as well. She's a little older, but uh, again, she's doing phenomenal in these bigger tubs, eating well, and depending on how good of a job I do on misting or spraying the tubs down, when they're in shed, they'll have a clean shed. Sometimes it's not, so here we go, we'll look at her. Well, you know, you, you know I show you guys the good and the bad on these snakes. 
and my struggles and some of my issues that I have with them. And so I should have been paying a little bit more attention on her when she was in shed. I knew she was in shed. Um, I did mist this down, but I don't think I did it enough or consistently enough. So beautiful snake, orange ghost, super inchy. And we can see she has, is having a bad shed. So I will soak her uh, later. And then I just need to do a lot better of marking down when they go into blue. A few days after they come out of blue, it's just to soak their cages. And I, I'll admit I've been, I've been kind of bad on that. So uh, who do we want to look at? Look at the orange. They're doing really fast. This guy's doing very well. I need to put the hides back in here. I've been spot cleaning like crazy for the last couple of days. Uh, all they do is all they do is poop. <laughs> so we'll look at these really fast. And the leopard's doing good. I know you. I know a lot of you guys like to see him. And we'll just let this girl do whatever she wants to do. Except we'll just move this. Even though this is oh, it's extremely hot. Really, really hot. So, some of you guys are probably wondering how I heat some of this stuff. Uh, the 7030s do have the heaters in the back on the heat panels. I just got a new heater system for her. I'll show you guys that in the next video. But pretty much the room, and I'm going to go over this on another video too, because this room is not the best uh, insulated, and it does get into single digits and negatives in the winter time in Ohio. So I do have an oil core here. I have an oil core here. I'm, they are a little pricey running them full blast in the uh, in the winter time. So running them in, in the winter time on full blast, it, it it is a little pricey, but it's a lot cheaper than running a basic um, ground heater with the heating coils and stuff like that. And it's a lot safer too. So I keep the, my house temperature on 65. So when it's like 10 degrees outside, 65 in the house, it's hard to heat up just a single room at 85. So it, it is a constant uh, battle for me in the winter time. But uh, that is how I heat everything and, and it seems to be doing very well for the snakes. And we'll just check out the leopard really fast. I get really bad on going off on tangents and, and rambling and stuff. So this guy's doing well. It's a leopard, yellow belly, a clown, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not that great at seeing some of the genes, but I don't think he's going to show his, his belly very well, but supposedly yellow belly, um, got it from Justin Kabolka. I think I would, I think I would trust him that it is yellow belly. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future on breeding. And let's check out Pop-Tart. So she's kind of got this thing all wrapped up and a oh, nice oily film that was not in there later. So I don't know if the bird has some weird stuff on it. But uh, we'll just check, check her out and watch her eat really fast. And you guys can enjoy your holidays.